Hello loves, welcome back to Mystical Mermaid. I wanted to do a quick pick a card reading on what it is you need to focus on during Valentine's weekend, okay? So this is almost like my typical self-care, you know, uh, Saturday and Sunday readings, kind of like the weekend, you know, relaxation, what I need to focus on kind of readings, but I wanted to kind of make this one more focused on, you know, the weekend of Valentine's, um, you know, the weekend approaching Valentine's Day. Gosh, Lord have mercy. I'm so tongue tied already, you guys. And um, I'm just like so chill and relaxed. Like it's a mellow day for me. And I hope it's a mellow day for you guys when you're watching this. But I wanted to do this reading to just kind of, you know, focus on how we could take better care of ourselves on Valentine's Day, especially if you're not going anywhere. Um, if you're not, you know, going out on Valentine's Day, what can you do at home to kind of spoil yourself and love on yourself, you know? So I want to do a little reading for you guys and I hope that it, you know, resonates. And also if you feel randomly called to watch this, even when it's not Valentine's Day, there could be a message in here for you. Or if you watch this, like, let's say 2024 Valentine's Day, there could be a message in this for you. So it's timeless. I'm just focusing more on Valentine's Day. Okay, you guys, but I'm going to get right into the reading. Let's show um, pal one. This is pal one. This is pal two. This is pal three. And this is pal four. And I apologize for my bummy nails. Your girl has been slacking in that department. I'm about to go get my nails done. So I apologize. Don't, don't send me shade on my nails. <laughs> All right, let's start this reading. Let's see. Bear with me, guys. Bear with me. I'm hoping I can get some more love readings out. This isn't like like romantic love. Um, this is more of like self-care, self-love. FYI, okay? So, I'm going to move these cards. All right, pal one. With this Frida Kahlo card. It says, choose to see creative energy in everything, no matter what, and you will recognize opportunity. So choose to see creative energy in everything, no matter what, and you will recognize opportunity. Okay. I love this card. Okay. Let's see what else we have. We have night vision. We have alchemy, transformation. So I wanted to get you guys a color card because I figured, you know, sometimes we need to work with color therapy, music therapy, art therapy. This is interesting because it has like purples, yellows, like a lime, ye like a lime green with yellow and some browns and blacks. It's like a fusion of different colors. Hmm. And so is this. This card's kind of like a blurred like fusion of different colors and night vision it's funny because this does look like maybe someone's trying to see it at night and they see this orb or this ball of light which is kind of making me think of the moon can you guys see that well you see that it's kind of make, making me think of the moon we have intuition 28 And it's crazy, we have night vision, right? Her eyes are closed, right? She had, Her third eye is open, but her eyes are closed. And night vision, the moon and the stars, right? Following your intuition, even when you can't see things clearly, opening up your third eye, right? Working with your third eye chakra to see things that aren't so easily seen. I feel like you guys are transforming and working on your third eye chakra, point where period. This is interesting, okay. What else do you have? We have nourish your temple. Look, her eyes are closed as well. Nourish your temple. So they want you to eat healthier foods. Your angels and ancestors are wanting you to eat something. Um, and and it, look, let's be honest. It doesn't always have to be healthier foods. Um, although I am getting that vibe that your angels may be wanting you guys to take care of your diet. Like make sure you're eating more. Um, like I said, this could be, okay, I need to incorporate more vegetables in. So maybe for Valentine's weekend, you'll cook or you'll order some food um, that has like, you know, a balanced meal, like vegetables, maybe um, 
if you eat meat, some meat or maybe some carbs, you know, or some fruits, just like balance, like making sure I'm here, making sure you are eating enough. You know, sometimes we don't realize that we're constantly on the go, constantly moving and doing different things that we're not eating as much as we need to be eating. And sometimes we, we don't realize that we're not putting in the foods in our body that will fuel us and give us more energy like fruits and vegetables. So I feel that your angels want you. I just, I just heard hearty. I feel like your angels want you to eat a hearty meal um, that has vegetables in it too. Okay. So eat something hearty, something that makes you feel good as well. All right. So balance. So, so you eat some vegetables, you know, for dinner, um, like a well balanced plate. And then you might have a, your favorite dessert for, you know, um, d- you know, afterwards. I just heard, I don't know why I just heard brownies or cupcakes. I don't know if somebody likes brownies and cupcakes. Not everybody does, believe it or not. Um, like I don't like cupcakes. But I just feel like, why did I, who cares? Anyways, um, that's weird. I feel like you guys need to focus on um, what you're eating during the weekend. You know how some people like plan, they go to the grocery store, say, okay, I'm going to cook this, I'm going to eat this. I feel like that's what you guys are doing. Um, even if you are watching this on Saturday, I feel like this is deciding what do I want to eat? And even if you do order like takeout or if you Uber eat or something, this could be you deciding, okay, I'm going to eat this, something that's balanced, you know. I'm hearing like eat three times a day at least if you guys can, okay? Because you guys are going through a transformation. I feel like you need the fuel. You, you need more energy. What do we have? We have tune into your inner peace. That's funny because this is making me think of intuition, like tuning in, tapping into your wisdom, your intuition, right? Tune into your inner peace. Night vision, alchemy, transformation. It's like, I don't know. You know those night goggles that people have? Like, have you, have you ever watched a um, ghost, what is it, ghost hunters? You know, like that show where they go to hunted places at night and they're like, show yourself. <laughs> All of that, right? You know how they have those goggles that kind of show like, um, they're like night vision goggles. I don't know why I'm seeing a vision of that, night vision goggles. Um I don't know if you guys are going to be watching ghosts, you know, hunters and stuff like that. Or I'm hearing like reading up on different things. I don't know what I'm hearing reading up on paranormal. So I don't know if somebody who's watching this likes to read um, about the paranormal, watch um, shows that have to do with the paranormal. But um, I'm just getting that maybe some of you guys are going to be spending a lot of time like watching um, something. OK, but your angels want you to really make sure that you get some meditation in with the night vision, with the transformation. Oh, I said, what was I about to say? That was weird. They just cut me off. That's strange. With the transformation, so with the night vision, the transformation and intuition, this is you needing to meditate more. So make sure that this weekend, especially on Valentine's Day, that you do some type of meditation, okay? Even if it's only for five to ten minutes, like make sure you get some meditation in because... We have a lot about night vision. You guys might have some dreams during this week, um, this weekend. Maybe in the week ahead, too, is what I'm hearing. But keep a dream journal by you. Um, But, yeah, this is about your intuition focusing, going within, and what you're putting into your body. So they might also want you to be aware of the things you are watching. So, you know, we consume a lot of things, not just food and water and, you know, beverages. But we consume the media we watch or listen to. The energy we're around. So your angels are kind of wanting you to be kind of gentle with yourself, you guys. Um, mm, we have choose to see creative energy in everything, no matter what. And you will recognize opportunity. So maybe you guys need to get more creative. Or I feel maybe some of you guys might become inspired by something you see in a vision or in a dream. And now I'm hearing Avatar. So some of you guys might feel called to watch Avatar. So tune into your inner peace. This is what your angels are wanting to focus on for this weekend, okay? Tune into your inner peace. What other card do you have? Stop judging and start loving, okay? So how have you been critical when it comes to yourself and others? Sometimes we are our own biggest critic, right? We are our own biggest enemy, our own biggest judge, our own biggest bully. And sometimes, you know, Let's be real. I just heard um, some. T- I'm going to be honest with you. This is what I just saw. I just saw a woman looking in the mirror and like messing with her stomach. And I just heard um, sometimes we bully our own selves. You know, we sh- we shame our bodies, you know, kind of like this. You see how she's touching on her stomach. So this 
weekend, your angels are calling for you. I'm, I'm hearing this very clearly. They want you to stand in the mirror naked. If you have a long mirror, that would be perfect. They want you to stand in the mirror neck, naked and say, I love myself. They want you to envision light auras around your body, okay? Kind of like this, envision aura of light around your body. Now you can imagine whatever color you want to imagine. Whatever color comes up for you, you might want to look it up and see what it means spiritually, okay? Um, and also if you see colors in your meditation, that could be very um, symbolic, something you might want to take note of. Yeah, but your angels are calling for you to love on yourself more. Okay, stop judging yourself. Love your body. Give your body the food and the, and the drinks that it needs, like water, right? <laughs> it needs water. We are mostly water. Juice. Maybe you're going to, you know, start juicing and incorporating that in with, you know, healthier foods. You know, this isn't telling you to stop eating your favorite foods. This is saying that you need to, you need moderation, you need balance, okay? Um, and loving your body, loving your curves. I just heard loving your curves. Oh, there's a, a song that just came up. It's by Christina Aguilera. I believe it's called He Loves Me For Me or something like that. She talks about her body, that he loves her body. So maybe you guys are going to be attracting a partner if you aren't with this partner already, if this doesn't sound like the partner you're with, or if you're single, you guys are going to be attracting a partner who loves you, okay? And loves every curve, loves every dimple, every scar, every every line on your body, every freckle, every mole. You guys are going to be attracting in, especially when you love yourself more, you guys are going to be attracting in someone who loves you unconditionally as well. So... I'm getting that you guys are going to receive some type of insight. The more you rest, the more you tap in, I feel you guys are going to re receive some type of insight on something, okay? This could be working on creative. Now, this could be working on a creative project can give you some type of insight. Some people meditate, you know, while they color. Some people find coloring very therapeutic um, or like painting very, very therapeutic. So that could also be something that you guys decide to do. But your angels are really focusing on making sure you're eating, you know, quality foods. Make sure that you're resting and opening up your third eye. Your third eye is highly important here, you guys, okay? What else do you have? You have, I don't even know how to pronounce her name. Is it Calliope? I don't, I don't know. I've never heard of this goddess in my life, but God bless her. We have um, elocution. So your words have power. Use them with clear intent. See, the things that you're speaking over yourself, the words, the terms, you know, the different things that you've heard over your life. I'm hearing some of you guys are taking on um, childhood, like, pain and trauma from, like, you know, some of the things that may have been said in your childhood, you know, if you were bullied or if you were teased or if your parents were quite judging, um, I'm hearing judgmental about your appearance. I feel that this is a perfect time for you to focus on, like, the Aphrodite, Venus energy and love on yourself, Okay. Um, you guys need to say I am affirmations in the mirror, specifically naked if you can, you know, do it up, take care of your body, you know, nourish your temple, you know, your home isn't just where you live, it's your, what your soul is living in, right? So it's kind of like this, um, what are those dolls? Are they Russian dolls? I forgot what they're called, but they're like different layered dolls that are within each other. It's like, that's you, different aspects of yourself within you. But your angels are saying you need to take care of all temples, all parts of yourself, the different layers of yourself, okay? So not, you know, some people, let's be real. Some people focus on their appearance so much. Oh, you know, I, I got my hair done or, oh, I go to a dermatologist or, oh, I use the best skincare. But they eat crap, right? Or they don't eat enough or, you know, they're eating the wrong things, right? So they're not taking care of their insides or they don't meditate or they don't pray or they're not taking time to rest. So they're not taking care of the insides, but they're taking, out of, taking care of one side of themselves, right? One part, the outside of themselves. And then they wonder why their skin is breaking out because they're eating the wrong things, right? Or they're not nourishing their temple. And then some people, they meditate and pray so much, but they don't take care of their outer temple. So it's just about balance and moderation, taking care of yourself, mind, body, and soul. All right? And speaking your truth, I hear, I'm really hearing the I am affirmations and mantras for this weekend for you guys would be amazing, okay? So speak your truth. If you guys like to sing, sing. If you guys have a vlog, speak up. It says, your words have power. Use them with clear intent. 
So speak over your food, you guys. When you're cooking or when you're about to eat, pray over your food. Cook, you know, cook with love, you know. Um, set an intention before meditation or before you go to sleep. This is you loving on yourself. Speak positive affirmations over your body and over yourself and over your circumstances and know that you're transforming. And these words, these these I am affirmations are going to help you to transform into something better, some someone more confident. We have green Tara, and I love green Tara. Protection, okay? It says your circumstances are shifting. You are protected. Begin to loosen your grip on fears and worries. That's beautiful. You're going through a transformation and your circumstances are shifting. You are protected. So begin to loosen your grip on your fears and worries. They want you to stop worrying, start, stop being afraid, stop judging. Okay, let go of that energy. Know that you're divinely guided and divinely protected. Okay, so that's a message. I want to show you it again. It's funny because look at this. She's wearing a crown, right? And he's wearing a crown. They both have their eyes closed and going to the side, kind of. Isn't that kind of weird? Or wait, that is a she. My bad. I thought it was a guy. Oops. Um, <laughs> I didn't notice the brown the hair. But yeah, this is, a, you know, look at her. See how she's kind of turned? Look at how she's turned. Very similar. It's like, remember who you are. Take back your power. Stand in your power is what I'm hearing. Stand in your power. So you guys are working with the higher chakras, your third eye chakra and your crown chakra. Because look, she looks like she's meditating. And ironically, we have water, like a water element playing in the background. So you guys might want to connect more with water and trees because I don't know why, but this plant here is making me think of this plant over here. So I don't know if you guys could somehow go to a, um, what, what, it would, what would it be, uh, like a botanical garden? Or if you guys are going to go and bring some plants into your space for, for Valentine's Day or for the weekends, like um, bringing, more, bringing more greenery into your space. Sorry about the commercial, you guys, but you guys could be bringing more greenery into your space. <laughs> oh my God, the commercial. I'm trying to see if I'm getting anything else from this, you guys. Hmm. I feel like you guys need to focus on balance is what I'm hearing. Balance. Alchemy. You guys are going to be manifesting something. Oh, we just had a new moon. Okay, so if you watch this, like, way down the line, the time that I'm recording this, we just had a new moon. All right? So that might also be why the alchemy is here. You guys are needing to manifest what you what you want. I'm going to get some extra cards. So January could be significant, okay, or was significant or will be significant next year. But this is also like cold, you know, like cold weather. So maybe it's cold where you guys are. We also have wish will not be granted. So this could be your fears. Remember you had a card that talked about fears and worries? Yeah, it says begin to loosen your grip on your fears and worries. Your angels are saying you got to let go of that fear of your wishes not coming true and believe that they will. Because we have eagle, and it says triumph over troubles and obstacles. See, from a higher perspective, that's that third eye, okay? And then we have work, achievement, and success, ant. Work, achievement, and success. So you guys will be successful, but you have to get out, out of this fear of wondering, you know, I just heard when hell freezes over. So some of you guys are speaking a lot of negativity over your life, and this is what you're needing to change, Okay, you're thinking my wishes aren't going to be granted. How is this going to work out for me? All of this, your angels are saying, let that go. Like you're speaking that over your life and that's not true. Like we're going to do whatever we need to do to make sure that you succeed. Okay, so your angels are wanting you to work more in nature. If you can meditate by plants or trees, do that. Um, I'm also hearing you guys need to meditate before you go to sleep. You guys need to work on your third eye chakra. So that means that in your crown chakra, because we have two beings with crowns on closing their eyes. So you guys might want to sleep with um, so something covering your head at night, um, like a scarf to protect your crown chakra. Some of you guys might get a lot of downloads and you might start having headaches is what I'm getting. So if you're prone to headaches, cover your crown chakra, even when you're out and about, like wear a hat or a scarf. Or, um, yeah, hey, if you have a crown, girl, wear your crown, boy, girl, whomever, wear your crown on um, the, during the weekend of Valentine's Day. If you have a crown and you want to wear it, hey, do you, boo. It's about self-love. It's about feeling good. 
okay? But eat foods that um, connect with your third eye and your crown chakra. So like foods that are like purple and blue, you know, like um, indigo blue or purples. So grapes would be good for you guys. Um, green, I don't know why, but green leaf vegetables, you know, will be very, I, it's like that's trumping what I just told you. And it could be just because this greenery is here, but they're telling me no, like kale. They're specifically telling me kale, spinach. Um, I'm hearing some of you guys might need more iron. So there could be a deficiency within your body that you're needing to take care of. So make sure you're staying up on your vitamins. Make sure you're getting more um, nu um, nutritious vegetables and foods in, okay? So I feel like this weekend for Valentine's Day, you're going to be spending time one, meditating, going within, and receiving some type of visions and manifesting. Um, and maybe focusing on something creative, connecting more with plants. This could even be drawing plants, connecting with the water element, maybe like taking a nice long shower, spending time in a bathtub. Um, but I'm getting like a dreamy energy, like an ethereal energy where it's very dreamy, very um, like resting, like going within, okay? You guys need to rest more, meditate more this weekend, but also cooking with, you know, positive intentions, eating with positive intentions, um, adding more healthy foods into your diet. So you guys might be looking at healthy vitamins, healthy supplements, um, being intentional about what you're eating and why you're eating it and why you're, you're like, okay, for example, someone say, might say, well, I'm eating this because I need more iron or I'm eating this because... You know, I need more vitamin, blah, blah, blah. You get what I'm saying? Vitamin D, right? So this is like you realizing, okay, where have I been slacking on my self-care? Let me pick it, about, pick it back up is what I'm hearing, okay? So meditation in nature will be good for you guys. Um, spending time at, near plants or water would be good. Spending time meditating at night before you go to bed would be good. Even if you fall asleep during meditation, it would be even better, Okay? Speaking your truth, possibly singing affirmation, like speaking or singing affirmations or mantras will be um, beneficial. That could be the creativity that you're needing to do is work on your own mantras, work on your own affirmations. You know, take a book and write down the, ma the affirmations you, you like to say, you know, about yourself or over yourself. Okay. And then we have Al. Good advice from a wise person could come in. So that flew out. So I want to show you that. And look, you have throne. Position well, hold on, let me see. Oh, yeah, position of authority. I stopped because I have a card from another deck that's just like this. So, Throne, you guys are this crown energy. It's like you guys are standing in your power. This is why you need to let go of the fear, and this is why you need to stop judging yourself and let go of the worries because you're going to be standing in your power. And you're going to be sitting on your throne. So wear your crown, okay? Do it up. Spoil yourself, okay? Treat yourself right this weekend. I mean, do it up. So you are the, you're in a position of authority over your own life. You have the power to create whatever you want. Okay, pal one? So that's what I have for you. Let me get you a, a lucky number or something. We have six. Okay, so you might want to look that up. All right, let me move into pal two. I told you guys this is going to be short. Um, this one actually went a little bit longer than I thought it would. But if you like this reading, please feel free to like, share, comment, subscribe. And like clockwork, my dog, one of my dogs are now growling like, girl, what you doing? Who are you talking to up there? I think they think I'm crazy because I'm talking to my phone a lot. <laughs> but um, I'm recording and they look at me like, what are you doing? Like they'll t tilt their head. Maybe some of you guys are going to be spending time with pets. I don't know. But um, let's jump to pal two. If you stayed for pal one and listened to me talk, that's hilarious. And if pal two, if you're here early then, hey, maybe you spend time with your fur babies if you have any. So we have a more. And it says, you are infinitely. Ooh, oh, oh, my God. I was about to say you are infinitely protected. Yo, I love when they just cut in like that. Okay, say, so, wow. I just heard, okay, so say to yourself, all is well. Wow, they cut in quick. All is well, you guys. Remember that. So say to yourself, all is well. You are infinitely protected. Remember that. So you are infinity being defined through the impact of your creative spirit in motion. 
Oh, so some of you guys might like want to dance or move around, yoga. It says, you are infinity being defined through the impact of your creative spirit in motion. Why did I just hear, we are the boys in motion. We give you our devotion. I'm being so corny, but that's what I heard. We have in tune. Okay, so I'm getting like music, you guys, like dancing, music. Um, but in tune, look at that. Maybe you guys are going to be spending time with a partner or with a friend. Um, I don't know where you're living or when you're watching this, but some of you guys could literally be going to a carnival or some type of festival or somewhere where you can get on a Ferris wheel or somewhere where you can play games and win a teddy bear. Someone might bring you a flower or a rose or might give you a flower crown tiara like this. Who knows? But um, you guys could be getting a kiss, a, you know, receiving some type of love on um valentine's day or the valentine's weekend okay hmm lucky y'all we have cotton candy oh my gosh so look fairs festivals right carnivals that's like what do you get when you go to like a, a fair like that you get cotton candy you get like hot dogs you get popcorn you get all types of churros you get all types of stuff right Cotton candy with in tune. This is very playful, very fun, very flirty. I'm hearing EXO by Beyonce. Um, watch that music video. It's that vibe, right? And it says, make a wish. So your angels, if this isn't in your life right now, if this partnership or connection isn't in your life right now, make a wish for it because it will come. And your angels want you to have fun. So maybe you need to watch a, a movie that's like flirt, flirty and playful. Um, kind of like, a, what is that movie? So, um, is it a letter or something to all the boys that I love? Something like that, like something cute, like a teen bop or something that's kind of fun, like a romantic, um, a romantic comedy. Um, I just heard Harry Styles. What did he say? Should we just put on a um, romantic comedy or something like that? Oh, it's called Woman. Okay, that's the song Woman. Um, what which album is it? Ah, anyways, it was the album before his recent album. Okay, so. Well, he only has two albums, I think. Yeah, so it's his first album. <laughs> so Woman, listen to Woman, but I like it when he says, should we just put on a romantic comedy or something like that? That's this. So I don't know if you're going to be spending time with someone or if, you know, if you are with someone romantically, you might be spending time with them. Like they might come over, you might go over to their place or you guys might be on FaceTime. Um, but there's going to be like a romantic night. I'm getting something like cozy with popcorn and, you know, candy or cookies and brownies, you know, and a good movie or a couple of good movies back to back. Um, and just relaxing and la laughing and chilling. Um, that's, that's the vibe I'm getting, okay? Now, if you aren't going to be at home, if you are actually going out and about, it could be something fun like this, okay? Or even a nice restaurant where you can just laugh and kind of be free and have fun. But I'm getting like something that's kind of Something that's youthful. You see how this is like a baby pink and then she's wearing like this baby pink here and this is like a, a baby pink rose. Can, can you guys see that? It's, it's interesting. So you guys could be spending time with your partner, having fun, or this is what you're going to be manifesting. And this, this card is a 44, okay, which breaks down to eight. So your angels are saying, hey, you need to make that wish love. There's love coming, okay? And motion, a Ferris wheel moves around and around. You, have, you see how it has that light going around and around? So there's some type of cycle that is going to happen or is going to um, be either starting or ending out to start a new cycle. I, that might sound weird. But there's some type of circle. I'm getting like a spiral. Pay attention to the symbol, the spiral symbol, you guys, okay? You have journal, okay? So your angels are wanting you to journal, for this weekend and for Valentine's Day, journal how you feel. Um, maybe you guys might be like, okay, see, remember I said to all the boys I love where she had wrote about all the guys that she loved, that she had a crush on or loved, and then it came out. Um, that's on Netflix. It's kind of like that vibe, and it reminds me of this energy. It's like she wrote, she's writing down everything that transpired, everything that happened. So I feel that you guys need to write down, um, like what happened during that day like kind of like a diary when you um if you do go out or even if you don't go out just write down how you felt on that day and what you're trying to manifest um you can get inspired by movies or music and you can manifest this but this is fun this is like that date where someone takes you and they're like look we're gonna go to this this carnival or this festival or this fair and they have rides and they have food and they have games and 
this guy would be or this girl would be the person that wants to win you the teddy bear. So they're going to, you know, keep playing the game over and over or you'll beat them in a game or it's like that funny could also be going to like, um, well, I know the time that I'm filming this, it's still COVID. So it, this could be like going to a, a, a um, an amusement, oh, no, 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 amusement park or um, I don't know. It's just like something where there's going to be playfulness and fun. This is a very playful, very youthful, very bubbly, bubblegum pink um, energy. It's very beautiful. So a lot of your angels might be wanting you to work with the color pink, baby pink, hot pink, working with pink, maybe bringing in um, some pink flowers or roses in your space. If you can, even after Valentine's Day, I'm hearing this, you guys, to manifest what it is you want. You guys could also be getting... Um, some new friends. I don't know why I just heard that. Like you guys could be attracting in some new friends as well. But your angels are saying be clear about what you're wishing for because this is make a wish with cotton candy. Wow. I love this. Okay. We have sound healing. Okay. So this could be like a concert too. You know, like uh, Coachella. It's like a Coachella vibe. Kind of like a, like, a, like, a, like a festival. Something where there's music and there is, you know, laughter and there's playfulness. That's the energy that I'm getting. But you guys could also need to be um, listening to some sound healing, some sound meditations or some sound baths is what I'm hearing. Pay attention to the music that's playing, okay, during this time. But look at the coloring. It's like it's matching with everything. You guys' color match up. You guys have a certain aesthetic, like a certain look. Hmm. Okay. Love that. Okay, what else do you guys have? Set your intentions with heart and soul. Set your intentions with heart and soul. All of this pink, most definitely. And I don't know why her hair is making me think of cotton candy. But yeah, it's like set your intentions with heart and soul and make a wish. I'm getting a vision of someone throwing a penny in, in the water, like making a wish. So yeah, you guys are going to be manifest. Oh. I just heard your manifestations are coming true soon so it's like I just heard coming through coming through so some of you guys may have already been manifesting something and it's about to be like it's on its way to you this year is what I'm hearing I just heard in a theater is near you that that means that something is coming in very soon okay so there's humor here there's a bubbly energy like a playful energy kind of joking oh my god I'm seeing a scene what movie is that from it's from an 80s movie where the guy, he has a huge, um, like, sound system, right? Like a huge um, music box. And he's holding it up outside the girl's house so she can come out. What movie is that from? It's from the 80s. It's like someone's going to come and give you something or offer you something. This is like that 80s romance movies, Pretty in Pink, um, 16 Candles. These are movies you need to watch. And by the way, you might want to watch that movie... Oh my God, there's another movie that, that um, is on Netflix that's a teenage love movie. And, oh gosh, what is that movie called? I think they have a part one and part two. It's kind of like um, a letter to all the boys that I loved or whatever. It's like that movie kind of. Um, oh my gosh. Basically, Molly um, Ringwald, who is the, the star of Pretty in Pink and Sixteen Candles, she's in one of those movies as a mom. So... Yeah, there's a correlation there. So you guys need to watch like 80s films and these new like teenage, teen, like it's like teenage love movies, teenage coming into my power movies. Okay, this is what you guys need to be doing and manifesting love, being in a very playful, free, childlike energy. And I just also um, got a glimpse of the movie. What is it called? Um, 16 uh not 16 can well I did say 16 candles so keep that on the list but no it's the one with um Jennifer uh Garner where she goes back and she she goes to the future and then she goes back in time what is that called I love that movie oh my gosh Jennifer Garner it's like where she like she was it's the 80s it's like she was in the 80s and then she flashes forward to who she is in the future Oh my God, I'm trying to remember what the name that is. But anyways, that movie too. We have practice feng shui and create a sacred space. So maybe some of you guys, yeah, maybe you guys are going to have a good movie on and you're going to be like chilling, maybe cleaning while movies are on or while music's playing. So I'm getting like multiple things happening for you guys. Maybe a lot of you guys are going to pick this pal, but some of you guys are going to go out on a date. 
okay? Or a lot of you guys might have the date at home or at someone's space and there's going to be like movies and music and cotton candy and popcorn and the whole shebang like that, right? Like a movie night. Um, I don't know if where you are, you can go to the movie theaters. Maybe you guys can go to the movie. But, um, yeah, so it's like a vibe of chilling at home, kind of relaxing, journaling, listening to music, making wishes. So some of you guys might spend time at your altar because this is giving me an altar vibe. She has her candles. She has her cards here. And she has incense and her crystals and her plants. So for some of you guys are needing to make a wish and write these intentions down at your altar, okay? Um, that's what your angels are wanting you to do. Do that at your altar. So you guys are going to be doing some altar work as well. See what else you guys have. <laughs> we have Vesta, which is home. Sacred space. See, literally. Oh, she's pregnant. Uh-oh. <laughs> Let's go there for a second. They're kissing. She's pregnant. So why am I hearing that? Oh, my God. I haven't heard that in years. Do you remember when um, kids used to say, first comes kissing... Oh, some, what is it? So, so uh, first comes kissing, then comes marriage, then comes a baby in a nursery carriage or something like that. Do you remember that when kids used to, it's like a rhyme that kids used to say? It's that vibe. So some of you guys are manifesting um, a partnership that's going to lead to, you know, something stable, something that has to do with home life, something that's secure or something that at least, you know, leads to having a child. Okay. And um, some of y'all want to be careful some of you guys could be literally getting pregnant or maybe purposely trying to get pregnant or just manifesting, you know, a partner that will come into your life where you can have a family together, okay? We have tend to your soul and the comfort of your sanctuary. So a lot of you guys need to be making your space a sanctuary. We do have feng shui, practice feng shui, create a sacred space. So sacred space, sacred space, and being in tune with your sacred space is very important. So... That means you need to make it feel like how you want it to feel, right? So I feel like this is like one of those days where you put on a movie, right? And you just start cleaning up and straightening up your space. You might fold some clothes while you're watching a movie. You might It might smell really good. You have candles lit, the whole shebang. You have popcorn and candy um, or your favorite foods. But this is bringing in comfort. I'm getting something that's very warm. This is warmth. I love this energy, okay? Um, but something with this motion, this could also be that something's moving forward. Okay. So it says you're, you are in, Ooh, gosh, they just keep saying infinitely, infinitely, infinitely. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Hold on. They're telling me multiple things right now. I just heard infant, infant child. That's a baby. Okay. They're, they're saying infant infinity. So you guys, okay, this is a side note. For some of you who've been wanting a child, there's a baby that's coming in that is a soul, like a soulmate to you, okay? This is someone who's a part of your soul family. And look, we have this elephant in the background, and the elephant talks about the past and also talks about ancestors and family. So this elephant's kind of looking going to her, and when I see elephants, that's what I think of. I just think of family, I think of ancestors, and I also think of Ganesha, which is a remover of obstacles. And... um. An abundance. So I definitely feel like if some of you guys have been trying to have a child and it's been hard, keep trying. Keep trying and stay positive. The more you're positive, the more you're in this carefree energy, that's what's going to help you to manifest this. Okay, so make a wish um, and see it come true is what I just heard. Wow, so some of you guys are going to be having babies. I'm hearing bring... Um, orchids into your space if you can bring some like pink or peach or white orchids into your space do that bring some pink flowers into your space you guys like pink peach or white flowers all right maybe purple as well but getting more pink and peach flowers um but yeah you are infinity being divine oh my god i just hear divinely guided i wish they would it's like i love when they do that but then when they keep cutting me off it's like wait what you are infinity being defined through the impact of your creative spirit in motion. This is amazing. Like, we have the spiral, right? The circle going around and around. But now I'm seeing the infinity symbol going around. So something's coming around. Or something's going something's gonna to flow to you quite soon. And this is also cycles. So cycles. Think of the cycles you think of the moon. Or you think of a woman's actual menstrual cycles. So yeah. Some of you guys might be getting your period. Or... 
you might feel a little emotional. It might be you guys might be nesting with home and sacred space here. Some of you guys might be nesting, so that could mean that some of you guys are already pregnant, or you will be becoming pregnant soon. Okay, or you're nesting because you're going to be creating something new. Something new is coming into your life. This could be spiritually speaking, where you're spring cleaning already, and it's because you sense that something's coming in. We just had a new year, basically, right? Year of, this is the year of the ox when I'm filming this, you guys. You guys could be watching this at any time. Remember, it's timeless, but I am filming this, and it's the year of the ox. So this is like, I'm just getting, I'm hearing abundance, literally. I'm not going to, I'm not going to lie. I'm just, that's what I'm hearing. So you guys are going to be coming into some powerful things, especially the more you spend time loving on yourself. We just had a new moon. The more you love on yourself, the more you make your space more connected to who you are, the more you focus on journaling and writing those intentions down and sound healing and loving you. And I'm hearing just being happy. This is a happy pal. This is a pal that needs to be happy like a kid and make that wish. Like just very loving and very playful. I feel like you're manifesting in love, a romantic partnership that's stable. You're um, um, manifesting fun times with a partner. You're also manifesting, some of you guys are manifesting a child or a family. Some of you guys are manifesting a new project is what I'm hearing. And some of you guys are manifesting abundance. We have adaptability with Mommy Wada, okay? And this looks like a mermaid, but it says, spend time near water. Admire its strength, tranquility, and intensity. Acknowledge these qualities within yourself. So some of you guys might need to be taking those baths, you know, or those showers, spiritual baths, spiritual showers, bathing in flowers and herbs or drinking lots of teas is what I'm hearing. Like connecting more with water and just flowing is what I'm hearing. Like just going with the flow. But like this is a very easy go lucky pal. This is a happy pal in my opinion. Um, Create, you guys, just create, create happiness, create peaceful environment for yourself. This is beautiful. Like, I, I kind of want to stop. I kind of don't even want to pull from this deck because I just feel like it's so positive. Like, what does Pal 2 need to know? August could be um, big for you guys, okay? August, and look, it looks like a moon. Okay. We have bread, period of prosperity and abundance. I said that. So some of you guys might be eating a lot of carbs, but um, yeah, I kind of want to stop. Like for real, like this is so beautiful. Oh my God, we have wind chimes. Okay, that popped out to me. So peace and harmony. When I think of wind chimes, oh my God. When I think of wind chimes, sorry about that, you guys. When I think of wind chimes, I think about my childhood, honestly, because when I was a little girl, one of my babysitters had a wind chime and you would hear it just move around and it just brought peace and my neighbors have wind chimes and it just makes me think of my childhood. Oh, this is going, oh, hold on. This is going with the sound bowls. So there are chimes that you can play with your sound bowls. I actually have one. Oh my God, they made me want to get up and play it for you. But it's like, hold on, I'm going to show you. Peace and harmony, wind chimes, right? This is like, there are certain wind chimes that are, uh, can give off different, like positive frequencies and break up stagnant energy. And I think that, I think chimes are also connected to feng shui. Look up if wind chimes or chimes are connected to feng shui, you guys, that's highly important. But peace and harmony, we have mule. Someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. Okay. So don't try to change or force anyone to, I'm hearing, don't try to change anyone or don't force anyone to change. If you're dealing with someone who's stubborn, just let go, just let go, pray for them. And I'm hearing if this is a partner that's not, isn't willing to move forward with you, then know your worth and know when it's time to walk away. That's for someone specifically. Like you might be leaving um, a partnership because maybe this person wasn't, wasn't wanting the same thing that you're wanting. We have bridge successfully overcoming a problem. So you guys are going to have success overcoming obstacles. Like maybe this bridge. Oh, I'm getting a vision of a mule stubborn and not wanting to go over the bridge. Oh, like Shrek and Fiona. Okay. So I just got a vision of Shrek. You remember when Donkey was afraid to cross the bridge to the castle? I just got that. So you could be dealing with someone who's quite stubborn in a playful way, but they could be quite stubborn. So they could be like an earth sign. Um, or this could be the person that you're manifesting in their downfall, that they're quite stubborn. <laughs> so um, they could be a fixed sign. So they can be like Scorpio, Taurus. But um, maybe you need to watch Shrek. I literally just got a, a scene from Shrek. Okay, what, what else you guys have? You guys have January. So Pal 1 had Jan January. That's weird. Let me reshuffle this. We don't want that same card. Hold on. Although it could mean something. Oh my God, you guys have to show you this. So these three cards came out together, right? 
and goldfish, this reminds you of a fair. Remember when you go to the fair and sometimes you win a goldfish, but they would always die, right? <laughs> because they were like unhealthy. And your parents would be like, oh, what? you'd be like, what happened to the goldfish, mom or dad? Remember they come in the little bags, you would win something and then you win a goldfish, increase the material wealth or spiritual growth. So you guys are connecting more spiritually. You're growing more spiritually and you're getting an increase of um, prosperity and money and abundance, okay? That's beautiful. So this reminds me of the fear. And then look, you have dog barking, advice from a friend. And what's amazing is if you guys, I'm going to make sure, I'm going to um, time mark the video earlier because after pile one, I was talking about my dog barking. So you actually have a dog barking, advice from a friend. So you might, if you have a fur baby or a pet, some of y'all might have snakes. Oh Lord. If y'all got a, a pet, <laughs> spend time with your pet. Okay. Even if it's a fish, I don't know why, but some people, some people be talking today, fish, you know, who knows? Some of you guys could be Pisces is what I'm hearing as well. But, um, yeah, advice from a friend could come through, you know, maybe this is someone telling you, Hey, why don't we go out or you're going to meet someone soon? Don't worry. Or watch this movie girl. Or, Oh, I have a friend that I want you to meet or someone, so and so and so no, so and so we're going to go here, come out and you might meet someone, but check this out. Stork news of a birth. Or a new business opportunity. So some of you guys, it might be a business that you're giving birth to and creating. Um, it's like, wow. But you guys are coming into some type of prosperity, some type of abundance, some type of wealth, some type of spiritual growth. Overcoming problems successfully. Okay? You might be overcoming your own stubborn energy. But this could also be a birth of a child, an infant, right? This is beautiful. I mean, I'm going to go get my chimes real quick, you guys. Hold on. If you hear the chair squeaking, know that I'm getting up and I'm going to come right back. Hold on. So I don't know if you guys could hear that. Let's see. But there are certain wind chimes that you can get that have certain frequencies and certain notes. And I feel that you guys would benefit from playing these with your sound bowls. If you have sound bowls or if you're into sound bowls. Okay, so I don't know why I felt the need to get up and go all the way across the room to go get that for you guys. Isn't it beautiful? It's peaceful. That's the energy for you guys. It's very like childlike, teenage-like, fun, carefree, carefree. That's the energy, you guys, okay? So I hope this was able to help you. Oh, this could be also a date in August, like during the summertime as well. Like that's when people would go to fairs and stuff. So anyways, I hope this was able to help you guys. There's a lot of happiness. Smile, pal, too. Smile. This is beautiful. Thank you for like hanging in here with me. I love this reading. I hope I picked this reading. <laughs> Some of you guys might actually like bake or cook some bread or some cake is what I'm hearing. Like this is a fun pal. All right, let's move on. Let's let's move on. And if you like this reading, please feel free. Oh, you know what, you guys? I'm gonna pull I'm gonna roll the dice. I think I rolled the dice for pal one. Yeah, let's see what number you guys have. You guys have two. Okay, so if you stayed, if you're patient and you stayed with me, you know your lucky number. Thank you, loves. Thank you so much. That was beautiful. I love that. All right, let's get into pal three. All right, pal three. This is wow. Do you have Frida Kahlo with her hair down? You don't see that a lot, but that's beautiful. So what does it say? Connect to your inner sense of the beauty of wisdom, being grateful for your whole journey. Connect to your inner sense of the beauty of wisdom, being grateful for your whole journey. Okay. You have persistence, never giving up. And I'm hearing that some of you guys might want to actually look up Frida Kahlo. She was very persistent with, cre with creating and her art. She went through a lot of challenges in life, especially with her own illness and her own body. Like, but she was persistent to create. You see how this person's continuously drawing? It's like, don't give up on a project. Don't give up on a dream. Don't give up on your dreams. Okay, pal? Three? We have um, nine, melon pink, compassion, right? Being compassionate with yourself. I'm hearing being compassionate with yourself and the mistakes you've made in the past. 
and everything that's brought you to who you are today in this present moment. And being compassionate with others as well, all right? We have read 42, 6. So read. There's something, uh, there could be a book that you're needing to read or um, maybe a biography I'm hearing. Maybe you need to read a book on Frida Kahlo or on people who are just persistent. You know, people who've, um, I'm hearing like Kobe Bryant, right? He's very persistent, very determined in his career. So it's like being inspired. I'm hearing that you guys need to get it re inspired again, like reignite your passions. We have dance, right? So you guys need to loosen up. I'm getting like an energy that's kind of like, um, I don't know. You guys need to loosen up, like have fun, move around, you know. Um, during this weekend, during Valentine's Day or whenever you watch this, loosen up some. Put some music on and just dance crazy. Shake that stagnant energy off. Get inspired again. I'm getting, I'm getting it. Some of you guys have like a creator's block. So I'm here, creator. Why did I say creator's block? I meant to say writer's block. But maybe you guys are having a creator's block. Like maybe you paint or maybe you sing or maybe you write music or maybe you, you write books or maybe you like to write poetry or maybe you like to dance and create choreography and you, you're feeling a blockage and your angels are saying, hey, you need to shake off that stagnant energy and be compassionate and be patient with yourself. We have today holds unlimited possibilities to see the beauty in life. Look at that. Today holds unlimited possibilities to see the beauty in life. So you guys are needing to shift your perspective on things. See the beauty. See all the things you have accomplished. See all the things that you have, you know, achieved. So you guys are needing to take some time out to um, just look at how far you've come is what I'm hearing this weekend. You guys need to spend time looking at how far you've come. I'm hearing mindfulness body movement. That's what I just heard. So some of you guys, when you, this weekend, like when you wake up, stretch move your body around on purpose you know meditate pray and then put on some fun music and shake like just move around all wild one of my favorite meditations you guys need to look up megan lee joy she has where you meditate and then she'll have a like a mindful body movement you know exercise where you can put on music or you can just move your body the way you feel you need to move it and i feel that that's what this pal needs to do okay i'm also getting that some of you guys might be reading books on world travel or um world studies like something that's like different from your culture or something that's different from your environment you guys could be reading up on a totally different i'm hearing a whole new world oh god everybody gets that song i used to get that song a long time ago in channel messages a whole new world with aladdin and jasmine like expand your yourself get creative get re-inspired so maybe you need to learn something new maybe you need to read something new or maybe you need to learn about a new culture maybe you're going to be wa watching documentaries or movies that are from different you know cultures or different countries okay I feel that it's going to gain, you're going to gain some type of like inspiration from something this weekend. You need to remove this blockage. Though. There's a creative blockage. So that means that you need to work with your solar plexus chakra. What else do you have? You said, oh, you have allow. Why did I just hurt, hurt that? Hold on. That's weird. I just heard Yusuf tools, Yusuf tools. So it's like going to different things that would inspire you, whether it's music, whether it's new books, whether it's new art, going to a bookstore. I just spoke about this on my Twitter account. I like to go into bookstores and ask my angels to show me what they want me to see. And you don't realize how much is like in a bookstore. It's so amazing because you could be drawn down like one path, one aisle, and you come across this book that calls to you. There could be something that you're needing to like maybe go to a library um, or Barnes and Nobles or a bookstore that's like, you know, independent, if you can find one, you know, and see what you find. But it says, uh, I'm hearing hidden treasure. There's hidden treasure. So you guys might want to go to like an independent bookstore or something like that and see what you find. Or even like a thrift shop is what I'm hearing. Like you guys might go, be, I just heard thrift shop by a uh, Macklemore. Like you guys just need to get inspired. Even if you're fashion designers, like there's something you just, you need to get inspired again. This could be going to, um, I, I, I just heard we have here in California, Melrose trading place. And basically what that is, it's like, I think it's Melrose trading place, but what it is, it's like a kind of like a, um, kind of like a market, kind of like where people come and bring their own like art and creations and clothing and all types of stuff that you can just buy and find. But we have allow unlimited abundance. Allow unlimited abundance. So 
They're saying be open to receiving. Be open to receiving. Be open. Compassion. So you guys may also be working not just on your solar plexus chakra, but your heart chakra. Be open to receiving. Be open to something new. I'm hearing be open to new experiences. So during this weekend, your angels are wanting you to be open to things that are different. Try something different to get inspired again. Try something new. Create something new. Maybe create 3D art. I don't know. Create something fun. Be like a kid. You know, when children create, they're not limited with their creations. They'll put anything on a piece of paper, you know, like they're just creative, you know, and it may be the most hideous thing, but at least they create it from their heart, right? It's like, that's what you guys need to do. And don't judge your work. Don't judge your art and don't throw your art away is what I'm hearing. Even if there's a mistake, they're saying, don't throw it away. Keep it. Keep it. I mean, I'm seeing a cat for some reason. I don't know if some of you guys have a cat and none of these cards have a cat on it, but I'm, I'm seeing a cat. So some of you guys might need to spend time with your cats. I just told Pal 1 and 2 that they need to spend time with their fur babies. But maybe there's a cat or feline energy. Maybe you're going to be learning about cats. I don't know. It could be something as simple as watching, a, you know, something on Animal Discovery Channel. I don't know. But there's something with felines like kittens and cats. Hmm. We have Oshun. Now that's powerful. And remember I said solar plexus chakra. And we have all this yellow. So you guys need to work with the color yellow. Okay, yellows, oranges, bring some sunflowers into your space, bring some happy energy into your space. Okay, yellow flowers, orange flowers. We have protect your energy, protect your energy. Okay, so for some of you guys, you're needing to learn how to protect your aura, you know, your energy field. But even though this says protect your energy, which I think you guys need to learn how to do, I'm still getting that. This, I feel like this is more like, why do I want to say conserve your energy? No, that's not it. Why are they saying conserve? They're saying conservative. Hold on. They're saying preserve your energy, but they're saying there's something. Con so, you know how some people are so conservative or like they're kind of like closed off, um, you know, kind of like bland. I don't know. I hate saying bland, but you know how some people are, are so like conservative that they're closed off from trying new things. Like they're just kind of stiff. Yeah, don't be in that energy. Like you guys need to let go of that. I'm getting you guys need to be free. You guys need to try something new. Do not judge others. Don't judge yourself. Try something different. Okay. Be free. Loosen up. I'm hearing loosen up. Put your shoulders back. Roll them. I mean, loosen the heck up. Okay. Loosen up. There's an energy that you just need to be free. So your energy, when it talks about pres um, preserve your energy, it's like, what are you putting energy towards? Are you putting energy towards, man, I, I, I feel un, you know, inspired or, oh, my God, this picture was horrible. Oh, I just feel bored or I don't know what to do or I feel numb. That's all putting your energy towards something. You're putting your energy towards those affirmations because that, that's what it is. Our thoughts are, and our words are affirmations, their intentions, their spells, right? You're putting your energy in that. So your angels are saying redirect your energy. Protect your energy in that way that you're only speaking into existence. You're only thinking positive thoughts. Even when you are feeling uninspired, what is that telling you? If you're feeling uninspired, that means I need to get inspired again. Right? That means that I need to do something different. I need to try something different. I need to try a different color. Or I need to repaint. Or I need to, you know, try new art, you know, technique. Or a new um, art form. Right? Frida Kahlo... I believe, was she in a hospital bed or was she was bedridden or something? I think she was on bed rest. I can't remember what, what, what her illness was. It's been so long. I used to read up on her. But um, she was in the bed. Like she was, she had to be in the bed. I, and I don't remember how long, but she was still painting. She was still painting. She was still finding something to be inspired by. And she became, she became inspired by her own issues, like the, her own, you know, pain so I feel that you guys need to take whatever you're going through and use it to create take that energy and use it to create something we have Lilith yeah so it's like taking those shadow aspects of yourself and bring it to the light I feel like we have the moon here right the moon and then we have the sun here with Oshun so it's like the moon and sun, the emotions, the masculine and feminine energies are needing to be balanced. Like you're needing to express both sides of yourself. 
You know, be, be confident in both sides of yourself. Face both sides of yourself. There's nothing to hide. Be compassionate with yourself in all aspects of yourself. We have recognized your own potential. Yes, you guys need to realize how powerful you truly are. Recognize your own potential. Oh, I said cat, and look, you have a tiger. Look at that. Oh, I hope you guys can see that. That's a tiger. I just said cat. Yeah. You guys might want to pay attention to white tigers. That could be a sign or a symbol for you guys that you're on the right track or the right path. Ask your angels to show you that if you are. They're saying recognize your own potential. For real. You guys need to know that you are so worthy of the best. And this is independence. You know? You're independent. You have the power to create whatever you want. Is what I'm hearing. So for you guys for this week, and you guys are going to be focused on getting re-inspired. And speaking positivity over yourself. You guys are going to be looking at where you play a part in hurting yourself or blocking yourself from abundance and from create creative abundance and from love and compassion is what I'm hearing. So your angels are saying connect to your inner sense of the beauty of wisdom, being grateful for your whole journey. So this is a journey. Embrace the ups and downs of it. All right. So let's get some of these cards for you guys. White Tigers. It's very, it's feminine, but yet very powerful. We have Crib. Birth or conception of a child or enterprise. And this is funny because Pal One had something with um, birth and fertility. And I do see Oshun as a fertile um, being, a, a goddess that's very fertile. So if you guys have been wanting to create something new, whether it's a, a, like an actual business or a new project or a baby, you guys are needing to get out of this stuck energy. Release these blockages. See how there's light around the crib? Yeah, there's some blockages that you guys are needing to work on releasing. And that really what that is is how you speak about yourself and what you think about yourself, what you say to yourself, what you're saying about your circumstances. You need to shake off that blocked energy. You guys literally might need to just move your body more. Um, I keep saying literally. I hate that. But you guys might need to do like some workouts, you know, different exercising, um, I mean, different types of exercising. Like, it could be as simple as I'm going to do some Pilates or some yoga. Or I'm just going to stretch this way. Or I'm just going to do this dance. Or it could be silly and goofy. Whatever you want it to be. It could be sensual. It could be belly dancing. Whatever you feel called to do. It could be hula dancing. Um, whatever it is that makes you feel good. We have Fox. Shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. So there could be energy of needing to work on business. Hmm. I just heard personal endeavors. We have man dealings or relationship with a man could come up um, for you guys, or you guys could be this man. Hmm. And we also, yoke keeps wanting to come out. I want to show you this. It says feeling tied down or frustrated. So you guys could be feeling tied down by maybe by life, by work or business. Maybe you have your own business and you're just feeling kind of like stuck. Maybe you need to revamp your business or maybe you need help on your business for some of you guys. And it could be like, I'm trying to start a business, but I don't know how, you know, do your research, take your time, ask your angels for divinely guided people to come into your life to help you. But look, we have basket. It says recognition and reward for merit. So you guys are going to be rewarded in some type of way, but you have to get out of your own way. And look, we have a wishbone. A wish will be granted. Some of you guys need to pay attention to your finances is what I'm hearing, but they're saying a wish will be granted. We have allow unlimited abundance. So you guys could be afraid about your money. You guys could be afraid of um, your ink about your income or what's happening financially. And your angels are saying you need to give that to God. Give it to God. Some of you guys might be reading books on finances or financial planning or business planning or following blogs that talk about um, finances and all of that. Um, I'm hearing that you guys need to give this to God and the angels. Like, light a prosperity candle. Light a candle for prosperity. Make it that intention that you are open to receiving. And a lot of you guys may not even realize that some of these blockages, the reason why you're not receiving the amount of money that you want or that, that your, pro your project isn't taken off the way you want or your business isn't taken off the way you want is because there's a blockage that's tying you down. There's some type of blockage within your chakras and your body. Or an emotional blockage that's being is showing up physically that you need to work through. And I feel like this has to do with believing in yourself and truly taking time out to heal. Okay? Your angels want you to have a, a good time. They're saying lighthearted, carefree time, jug. So you need to let loose. Like you need to really have fun. Like this dance card is going to help you to manifest. When we're free, 
we manifest better. You have success here. So they're saying, yeah, you need to loosen up, loosen your grip, loosen your grip. Like, I'm going to pull you some extra cards. We have one. One is a powerful number for you guys, but I want to pull something extra because I want to know what the heck is going on. And I didn't do this for the other pal, so don't tell them. <laughs> don't mention in the comments. Let's see what, what's happening here. Cornucopia, that's abundance. It's like happiness. See, it's on its way. And we have 11. You guys just need to open your heart. Look, we have a woman with the heart. And look, we even have man with the heart. So if you're a man, we have man with the heart. Get out of the indecision and follow your heart. Pray, give it to God, okay? Financially, you need to open up your heart chakra. You need to work on being confident and working on your creativity and expressing yourself, you know, expressing your heart, expressing your love and your feelings through your, your creativity. It's going to bring some type of abundance. A wish will be granted, you guys. But they're saying today holds unlimited possibilities to see the beauty in life. You need to start seeing the beauty in life. Start being grat grateful. I just heard gratitude. You guys need to write a gratitude um, list every day. You have 11, 11, you have 44, and you have 45. This is beautiful. I'm going to get one more. Let's see. Door to romance. So if you guys, maybe you guys are feeling down because, man, where's my love? Where's my partner? Where's the man of my dreams? Where's the woman of my dreams, right? Or, you know, where's this business partner that I've been wanting? Like, you guys are going to be focusing on how, if you can't change your circumstances, what can you change? Your attitude, right? The way you, you perceive things in your life. I feel that you guys need to change your outlook on life. Shift your perspective, your perception of it. I just heard perspective and your perception of life. Um, there's a lot of fertile creative energy right now. And you guys could be creating something new, whether it's a baby or whether it's a project or a business. But you have to let go of what doesn't serve you. You have to release these blockages and you have to feel in order to heal. Some of you guys aren't feeling those feelings, and that could be what's blocking you. Okay? So there's some type of cornucopia that's on its way. And look, that cornucopia card looks a lot. Let me show you this. The cornucopia card is looking a lot like the basket card with all the fruit. So your angels might want you to eat a lot of fruit during this, this weekend and Valentine's Day. Like, re realize how abundant and prosperous you are and that someone always has it worse. You're going to be just fine is what I'm hearing. Recognition, reward for merit. You guys might also be giving to those who don't have a lot, is what I'm hearing, to those less fortunate. Like, there could be someone who may ask you for money or for food, and you might do that. You might help them. If so, know that the angels are seeing you. They see that. Positivity will come from, from your goodness, from your kind heart, is what I'm hearing. Like, there's a lot of positive things coming you guys' way, but there's a blockage that you guys are needing to release and let go of. Okay, and I feel that you guys need to follow your intuition. Pay attention to owls. One of the other pals have that. I want to see what else you guys have. You have mint. It says decisive action, and I said you need to decide. There's something that you guys need to, de to decide to do. Okay, it says la luna. It says inner flow and cycle. Yes, yeah, so you guys need to flow like water. Flow like water and, and give it to God and ask your angels and your ancestors to help you to decide. I'm hearing follow your heart. That's how you're going to know. Follow your heart. We have lapis lazuli. Enhance self-respect. Respect yourself. Love yourself. Never settle. This blue and green is your heavy. So that's like your third eye, throat chakra, and your um, heart chakra. We have snuggle. And it says natural touch. So some of you guys could be craving natural touch. Some of you guys are needing some loving, like some hugs, some kisses. So if you have someone that you trust... You know, hug them, you know, or ask them for a hug or tell someone, you know, I just need a hug. Take a warm shower, drink a drink some warm tea or eat some hot soup. That could feel like a hug in itself. Spend time with a fur baby if you have one. You know, um, get you some cozy blankets, you know, like fur blankets. Not fur, like, um, what is that material called? Like, you know, the, I, never mind. But like the plush blankets, right? Get something that makes you feel good and cozy and warm. Nurture yourself. I just heard, why did I hear Campbell's? It's like, it's um, soup for the soul. Why did I hear that? <laughs> Yo, that's wild. But yeah, it's like healing and soothing your soul. There, I think there's a book called Soul Soup or something like that. Like healing the soul, soup for the soul, soup for the soul. So it's like, you guys need to heal yourself. And then we have Poison Ily. Uh-uh, why did I say Ily? Poison Ivy. There's something that you guys are needing to heal from. 
And then we have sky blue, express more magic. We have blue and green, blue and green. So this is Gaia. This is like the earth and this is the sky. And we have the moon here. So you guys might need to spend more time in nature, um, under the sky, just chilling, manifesting, creating. Maybe you need to create under nature, out of nature, I mean. That's interesting. We have, ooh, what does this say? We have sage, wisdom. There's definitely some type of wisdom coming through. We have relationships with red merlot. So you guys might be drinking wine, um, connecting with friends or partners. There's definitely a relationship coming in for you guys. So if you guys are worried about romance, if that's where the blockage is, know that romantically there is someone coming into your life that's equal to you is what I'm hearing. But you have to open up your heart in order for this person to come in. Because Merlot came out in reverse. So that's saying that you need to be open to loving yourself in order to create, um, I'm hearing better opportunities for yourself, whether it's romantically or financially. There's something within you that you're needing to heal and love on. I'm hearing love on yourself first so that you can open yourself up to receiving the abundance and the opportunities and the love and the riches that you deserve. Because there is a wish that will be granted. We have power and legacy. So right now you're not feeling as powerful. Or you might hit it like, okay, for example, you might have a mood that might just wash over. You might be feeling good and all, you have a, all of a sudden you have a mood or you start overthinking. Your angels are saying, shut that down. Shut it down. You are powerful and you have a long legacy ahead of you. This person that's going to be coming into your life is someone that you could potentially create a legacy with is what I'm hearing. You have green again. So you guys need to eat green foods. Spend time in greenery. We have learning something new. So yeah, you guys need to get inspired. Learn something new, okay? And we have new age at the bottom, evolution. You're changing. So you guys are going through a transformation that just feels rocky. But when you shift, when you change within, your circumstances shift. You have to change within you, though. And when you change and your frequency... Look at me, I said frequency. Wow. It actually it could be on a shirt. But anyways, when your frequency shifts, when it changes, right... I feel that's when you're going to draw on this person who's just as equally as loving as you. I mean, you have a counterpart here. So this is powerful. And the door to romance is opening for you. But first, you have to love yourself. First, you need to heal you. First, you need to figure out what's, um, what's not balanced in your life. Okay? And we have old and new order with Eden. So this is reminding me of the lover's card. Yeah, there's definitely some type of love coming in, y'all. Like this. Y'all got some love coming in. Y'all better get, get ready. Get with it. Um... First, love you, though. And look, we have Cafe, Create a Sacred Space. And what's crazy is the other pal, one of the other pals had that card. So you guys need to create a cozy environment for yourself. And we have Azure, which says angelic communication. So you guys could be receiving some type of guidance and help from the angels. So they're helping you financially. They're helping you with your love life. They're helping you with your health. They're telling you to eat more fruits, um, spend more time in nature, connect with the moon cycle, make your wishes, read more, journal more. Um, you're going to be giving birth to a new project or an actual child or a new relationship will be coming in that has a lot of potential, but first you need to love yourself. Okay. So during this weekend, you guys could be drinking wine. You guys could be, you know, learning, reading new books and gaining new wisdom. You guys could be learning about legacy and power. Some of you guys could be reading on myth mythology. Um, I said avatar in another, um, reading, you guys could be watching something like avatar. Something has to do with dragons. Or animals. A lot of you guys could be, wow, an archangel card just fell. That's powerful. Invoke the guardians. Your angels want you to connect with archangels. You guys could be um, reading up on archangels. Your angels also want you to find the humor. We have dark, dark apricot here. So your angels are saying find the humor in life. And we have burgundy passions and sex. So some of you guys might be doing a little self-love. Oh, and we have desert sand. Awaken your creativity. So yeah. So you guys are... You're freeing yourself. Slowly but surely, you're freeing yourself from things that weigh you down. You're, you're, um, I'm hearing practicing self-care, self-love, loving yourself, embracing your sensuality, sexuality, which is also going to help you to connect creativity, um, creative-wise with your creativity is what I'm hearing. Find the humor in life, okay? Learn, don't take yourself so seriously is what I'm hearing. This pal needs to, some of you guys could be Virgos, some of you guys could be Geminis. Don't take yourself so seriously. Let go. Release and flow. Learn how to flow. I'm hearing Sade. I don't know why. So some of you guys might want to put on some Sade and just chill. But invoke the guardians. Call them the angels, the archangels. I feel like, um, and this could be, you guys might end up helping someone that might need help as well. And it might weigh you down. I'm not going to lie. Like sometimes, you know, we, when we help others, it, it can sometimes, you know, 
weigh down our energy and that might be why your angels are saying protect your energy not saying that you can't help someone but know know when there's a limit where you have to say let me protect my energy let me pray that i'm you know i'm protecting my energy let me wear protective amulets know when to get off the phone with people is that's all the energy i'm hearing like make sure make sure that your weekend is for you but for you guys i felt like this is beyond weekend like they gave you a little bit of a message like a message for your life in general but um yeah, you guys are going to be spending time more in luxury, like eating fruits, possibly strawberries, you know, fruits that are sweet, I'm hearing. You're going to be eating, um, like, a lot of green foods, going to be connecting with the moon. Um, it's crazy because, look, we have this moon. You see how he's looking out at the night? Um, well, he's not really looking out, but anyways, there's a night sky with the moon and stars. It's, this is giving me, like, Sex in the City kind of vibes. Like, you guys, some of you guys might watch Sex in the City or Girlfriends. Have a wine night with nice movies or shows. You guys could be reading books with a glass of wine, learning something new. Um, this is like real sexy. This is like that grown and sexy, sexy vibe. Like you go to a lounge, right? It's like going to a lounge and having you some wine and a nice dinner, um, ordering some dessert, going home, watching a movie, maybe dr drinking another glass of wine. Or if you don't drink wine, then just drinking something that makes you happy. Um... And I'm just hearing, like, like feeling good. Some of you guys are going to take yourself out on a date. You guys might literally be going on a date with someone, and it's going to be very sexy. Could lead to sex. Could be very sexy. But for some of you guys, you guys are just going to be whining and dining yourself. But I feel there, this is going to have a very romantic vibe. Like red roses and grapefruit. Look, we literally had grapefruit come out generous energy so yeah for some of you guys you're gonna be connecting with someone and you're gonna be going on a romantic date or you're gonna be watching movies that have this vibe with romance and it can, that's actively manifesting by the way or you could be reading love novels romance novels is what i'm hearing um but some of you guys are literally connecting with a man okay or you're a man connecting with a woman and if so you know, there's a lot of romance here. Just give me a heads up. Be aware if you're not trying to conceive a child. We do have the crib card here. So be aware of that because we do have inner flow and cycle. Okay. And fertility here. So be aware of, you know, something that could be long lasting. If you're not trying to be tied down. Because we do have the card talking about yoke. Tied down. Yoke. Right? Yoke. What is yoke? Think of eggs. What is what is a yoke? Okay. So if you're not trying to get tied down, please use protection and be aware of that energy that's here. And we have Peach here. Ooh, I got this in another reading. Um, he liked to call me Peaches when we get this nasty. Um, is that partition by Beyonce? I can't remember, but open certainty. So yeah, you guys might be leading to some type of sensual activity. Um, sensual activity. <laughs> Something sexual. But you guys, this is hilarious. Like... You guys are shifting out of this worry energy. I'm hearing your angels want you to let go of worry and have fun. So if some of you guys are people who don't date, maybe you need to start dating or or at least going out with your friends more or taking yourself out for dinner. There's no shame that. Like, that's that's power, being able to say, you know what? No one's going to go with me. I'm going to go by myself. Like, you guys might be ordering takeout or going to pick up your favorite food. It's just very romantic. I love this. This is a good vibe, you guys. So... Know that your wishes are going to come true. Get out of that worry. Get out of that fear and move forward. Move forward. All right. So I'm going to go to pal, um, pal four. Oh, yeah, I did roll the dice. So remember, your dice is one, okay? So let's move on to pal four. All right, pal four. You have this beautiful card. Isn't that gorgeous? I like those colors together. It says, your endurance will bring you success. Never defend yourself. Remain present in your heart. So be you and don't, don't apologize for who you are. And keep going. Keep going. What do we have? We have child. Interesting. With a cat on it. <laughs> and we have brown. Ground thyself. Interesting. So, you guys, this is funny. Hmm. I'm hearing feeling safe, calm, and protected like a child. Nurturing yourself. I just heard, like, lullabies. Oh, my God. There's a song. Um, is it Yuna? Yuna? Some of you guys might like Yuna. There's an artist named Yuna. She has a very mellow voice. I think she has a song that's called Lullaby, or she mentions a lullaby in a song. Put in Yuna Lullaby. I don't know if she has a song that's called that. 
I'm also getting Ravina. Those are very mellow singers that have like very nice, soulful voices. And I'm getting that energy, like an ASMR, but soulful kind of energy that you guys need to have. Like it's very calming, um, very grounding. Yeah, and I just got chills um, on my shoulders and my spine. It's like getting a nice massage and just relaxing and feeling good and playful, but yet safe and stable and secure is what I'm hearing. Okay. We have drink tea. Okay, so sometimes tea can make you feel that way. You know when you drink your favorite tea and it's hot and, it, you know, you just warmed it. Maybe you put some sugar or some honey in it and you just feel all good and soothing and comfortable. That's the energy. So your angels are wanting you to, you know, make some tea. Drink a lot of warm, like hot tea um, during this weekend. It's soothing to the soul. Um, some of you guys, it can be rose tea. Some of you guys might know about herbs. If you don't, maybe look up... Um, do some different information about herbs. And um, you could be making your own tea or just drinking, you know, any random tea. But anyways, some of you guys could be looking at certain herbs that might help you to manifest certain things or make you feel a certain type of way or help heal with certain things is what I'm hearing. It's kind of random. But um, we have sync with the moon. So whenever I see this card, I think about how women's cycles can sometimes sync up with the moon. So I told another pal that they could possibly be on their menstrual cycle, but you could possibly be on your menstrual cycle during this time, or um, you could be connecting with the moon cycles. We just had a new moon, so that energy could still be kind of lingering in the air, but your angels are wanting you to connect with the moon. So pay attention to how you feel when, the, when we're in different moon phases. So they have like a moon app that you can get. You can see what phase the moon is always in. But um, connecting with Gaia, but not really, I'm hearing connect with the universe is what I'm hearing. So maybe you guys need to go and stare at the moon like a child would. You know how children get excited to look at the stars and the moon? It's like that energy, like you're needing to embrace that inner child. I'm hearing feel good energy and I just heard feel good. Dun, 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 dun. Is that the gorillas? Dun, dun, feel good. Yeah, that's the gorillas. Sorry, I'm just thinking out loud. Um, yeah. Maybe you need to listen to, like, happy music. Wow. And talk about children. Ch children usually make um, signs for lemonade stands. They have lim lemonade stands. Maybe you guys need to drink lemonade um, with, like, honey and sugar. I'm hearing sweet and something. So you guys might be making teas, like hot lemon water. Like, you guys might be drinking hot lemon water or making, a, like, a lemon tea. Um, that might be needed. Something that's soothing yet cle um, cleansing. Squeezing lemon in your water. I, I don't know why I just heard lemon cake. I don't know. Maybe somebody likes that. I don't know. But um, look how it has strawberry here. So some of you guys might be wearing, making like strawberry lemonade drinks or having fun making drinks, like drink fusions and stuff. Something that's refreshing. We, we've went from warm to cold. So that's kind of interesting. Maybe you guys are going to be playing with that. Like maybe during the day you'll have lemonade and, you know, at night you'll have tea or in the morning you'll have tea, switch it up. I don't know, but this is here, so I have to mention it. It's kind of weird. Um, turn less, ooh, wait, 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 this is turn lemons into lessons. Interesting. Um, kind of cliche, but you guys know I'm going to go there. It's kind of like when they say, um, when life's tough, give you, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade, right? When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. Hmm. We have believe in yourself, unleash your inner unicorn. So even when life gets tough, believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. We have the moon here on her. Moon and stars, the cosmos, the planets, right? I'm, I'm hearing that you guys need to remember that you are an infinite being with infinite potential. You can create whatever you want. The, I'm hearing the universe is open to you. It's open for you. You have unlimited creative, I'm hearing unlimited creative possibilities. That was a lot. Unlimited creative possibilities and potential. So you can create whatever you want. Hmm. We have Phoebe messages. Interesting. It says you are the channel. Synchronicities and messages are all around you. Okay, so you guys could be receiving a lot of synchronicities and signs and messages um, during the moon, different certain moon phases. You might notice that it, it gets even more amped up, but like a kid goes around pointing out different things like this child, right? Pointing out different things. That's what your angels are kind of want you to get in that energy. 
like a unicorn, like very playful, right? Where you can notice the signs and the synchronicities that they're giving to you, whether it's in movies, shows, while you're out and about, music, but they're going to be giving you some type of message. So that's why they're wanting to ground yourself and then listen. When the woman on the drink the tea card, she's just relaxing, right? She's drinking her tea. She's relaxing. She's taking in those good vibes. She's aware, right? And here, this woman's touching her heart. This is awareness. So your angels are wanting to ground your energy and to be aware of the different signs you see, whether they're butterflies, whether they're, you know, stars, moons, unicorns, lemons, hell. It could be anything that they give you to remind you, hey, we're here. We're here. We're guiding. You're on the right path. Keep going. Remember this card talks about your endurance, right? Your endurance will bring you success. Turn lemons into lessons. Your endurance will bring you success. Never defend yourself. Remain present in your heart. Remain present in your heart. That's what that little card says. And look, she's touching her heart chakra. So you guys need to stay in the present moment. I don't feel like this pal is going to be doing anything major or big for this weekend or Valentine's Day. I feel that you guys need to tap into your heart space. You need to tune into your heart space. Drink something that tastes good. You know, pay attention to the signs and synchronicities out in nature or in movies or music or shows. Tap into your inner child. A lot of you guys are going to tap into that inner child. Watch something fun. Watch something you used to like to watch when you were a kid. You know? So you guys are very peaceful. You guys are going to be receiving messages. Write them down. If you see a synchronicity, write it down. You can even ask for a specific sign. Hey, angels, give me a butterfly or give me a unicorn, you know, to show that I'm on the right path or this is what you want me to do. You can do all of that. When I think of brown, I think of home. I also think of, you know, spending time in nature in the dirt, putting your feet in the dirt. Maybe a lot of you guys need to put your feet in the dirt or in the grass and just meditate and pray. Or just say thank you. Thank you, Gaia. Thank you, the universe. Thank you, God. Thank you, source. Thank you, angels. Thank you, ancestors. Thank you for guiding me, for being with me every step of the way. And honor and embrace yourself like a child and keep going. You know, imagine you giving advice to your younger self. What would you tell your younger self? You know, we have Pele. Regeneration. Look at that. Isn't that a powerful card? Whoa. It says face your shadow. Yeah. What are the things that are holding you back? What are the things that are causing you to feel unstable or insecure or not sure of yourself? What are the lessons that are being brought up for you that you need to turn into lemonade, right? What, what's happening here? Like what, what, what's happened that's making you feel some type of way? What do you need to heal? What's weighing on your heart? You don't have to defend yourself for who you are. You don't have to feel insecure. You don't have to go above and beyond to be something else or someone else. You're a unicorn. Believe in yourself. Unleash your inner unicorn. You're different. You're meant to stand out. You're meant to be different. Some of you guys may have been told in your childhood that you're so you're weird or you're different. And that's okay. That's totally fine. I would rather be different than to be like everyone else. I would rather live my life out authentic. Whoa, I just heard authentically. And authenticity is what I just heard as well. Then to be like everyone else. Then to be what everyone wants me to be. And to not have lived a life that was true to myself. So it's just, I feel for this pal, it's burning away the old. Facing those parts of yourself. or The things that were said to you that were hurt, hurtful. Um, and healing it. It's like you guys are healing your inner child. This is what... You guys are going to be focusing on, even this weekend, your angels, the guidance that they're giving for you, to you, I mean, is for you to look at yourself as you were, as if you were a baby, as if you were a child. Say you were babysitting a kid, right? Or someone's child. Even if you have a kid, you know, incorporate your kid into this routine if you already have a kid. But imagine if you were watching a child, right? You're going to make sure that child is eating. You're going to make sure that child is getting what they want a bit. Not, not too much where it's an issue, but you're going to make sure that they're eating good foods, that they're watching fun movies, or they're having their art time. Or You're going to make sure that that kid is feeling good, right? And that that kid is feeling nurtured and loved and protected. That's what you need to do for yourself. So you guys need to focus on tapping into your, that inner um, child. And children have a huge imagination. 
they have a huge imagination. I feel that something might be happening in March for you guys. But children have such a big imagination. I feel that you guys need to imagine. Envision what you want. Those could be messages coming through your imagination and visions. See, this card flew out and it says vulture. It says depression, anxiety, worry that someone is against you. Your angels say don't, don't live your life in fear or guard it where you feel that everyone is against you. But we also say, have here on this card, it says never defend yourself. So who cares what people think about you? I was just posting this on my Twitter. Who cares about what people think about you? People are going to talk no matter what. You could be the best person in the world and people are going to say something mean about you. It doesn't matter because people are always talking, right? Great worry over nothing. You're worrying over nothing. Yo, your angels are saying you're, you're, you're stopping yourself from what? From succeeding, you're stopping yourself from living your best life, from being happy in the moment. Why? Because you're caring too much about what others think. You're, you're spending too much time on the past. Like, you guys need to just move forward in love. Tap into the present moment. Do what you can do in the present moment. Take it one step at a time. Don't overthink anything. Don't rush yourself. Don't let people rush you. Don't let people tell you what you need to be, what you should be. No. Only God, your angels, and your ancestors, and you know who you are and where you should be and where you should be going. You talk to your spiritual team. You guys need to connect more spiritually. What does this pal need to know? We have Ram, a stubborn, aggressive person. Yes, yeah, so some of you guys could be dealing with some people that may be aggressive or were stubborn or dealing with people like that in the past. And it, we have a card here that says temptation will test you. So it's like your angels are letting you know that you're being tested. These people are coming around. You might deal with people. Maybe this is at your job or at school or family members or partners or people in general who are judgmental. And your angels are saying, this is to strengthen you, I'm hearing. This is to strengthen you. This is to give you wisdom. Because guess what? You're going to end up helping people, possibly children. You're going to be helping someone and you're going to be telling them the same thing. Don't care about what people think about you. Don't spend too much time entertaining other people's opinions and thoughts on you. They can only see from their own perspective, okay? And we have moon. Moon fell all the way to the ground. It said changes in your life. So what changes do you need to, need to make in your life? I'm hearing you guys need to get in touch with your emotions and your feelings. You need to tune into your heart chakra. The moon represents emotions. Things that are hidden are going to come to the light. You guys might have some hidden emotions kind of surf resurfacing. We have Al, good advice from a wise person. So yeah, know that there's going to be some good people and there's going to be some not so good people. And don't take it personal. Don't take people's emotions, their feelings, and their words personal. Because guess what? It, it can only affect you if you allow it to affect you, right? And I know that's easier said, but your angels are saying, don't take it personally. People are all going through their own issues and they're saying, don't take it personally. You just need to focus on loving yourself back into good health is what I just heard. Love yourself back into good health, regeneration, renewing yourself. Who are you? Are there changes that you want to make in your life? You know, this could be, I just heard this. This could be as simple as someone saying, you know, my parents never wanted me to dye my hair. They, you know, felt this way. And say you always want to dye your hair. See how this woman's hair is purple in this card? It's purple and yellow like a rainbow, right? You could decide, you know what, I'm dying my hair purple, I don't care. Because guess what, it's your life, right? This could be, oh, you know, my family doesn't believe in tattoos. And all of a sudden you go and get a tattoo because it makes you happy, right? This could be you going and doing something random just because it makes you happy. It's wild. Another pal had this card, throne, position of authority. You are in the position of authority in your own life. What do you want to do? It's up to you, right? You're a unicorn. You're unique. You're magical. You need to tap into that inner child energy. You need to tap into that magic of a child, that imagination. We have success assured with good plans and hard work. You're going to achieve some type of success, you guys. Success assured with good plans and hard work. Wow. And you guys could be creating something new. Now, it's wild. We have a lot of like fer fertile pregnancy energy in these cards because, look, you, this another pal had this card, the story, news of a birth or a new business opportunity. So don't worry. The more you are yourself, the more things that, um, that match your vibration are going to come to you. And look, we have new home, new attitude. So some of you guys are needing to redecorate your home or your room, broom, clean, um, clean. Or maybe that's what you're going to be doing during this time, like making, like redecorating, maybe making your, fun, your room more fun. 
um, bringing in some, some different colors, singing. I'm hearing, I'm seeing someone dancing, playing and singing in their room. Um, that's the energy. It's like, you just need to like loosen up. I'm hearing loosen up. And I told another pal that loosen up, have fun, do this, not just during this weekend, but make a day, do this on Friday, love yourself on Friday, Friday is Venus day, do a self, like a, I'm telling you, like a all out elaborate self love, self care ritual on, on Fridays for you. Don't let anyone, anyone get in the way of that routine for yourself. Okay. Every day, make yourself some tea and say something positive. Okay, drink your lemon water. Lemon water helps to cleanse out mucus. Okay, and it also helps to cleanse your water. Especially if the water is warm and you squeeze lemon in it, it can help clean, clear out music. Some of you guys need to do a cleanse, I'm hearing. Cleanse of your home and a cleanse of, um, like a detoxify. I'm hearing detoxifying old things, like detox, detox, detox. That's what I just heard, detox. So some of you guys are just letting go of the old. This could be a literal detox of negative things that people are said to you. you guys could be doing a burning and release bowl ritual where you write things on on paper that you want to release and let go of or forgive and then you burn it that might be why Pele is here right to release you guys are releasing stagnant energy you're letting go of the old i want to get some more cards you're letting go of stress and negativity you're learning life's lessons we all have to learn life's lessons right it says buttercup and this says Sweet surrender. Sweet surrender. Yellow might be a very... You guys need to work with yellow. Like lemon. Yellow and brown are colors for you. Yellow and brown. Yellow, I would connect with a solar plexus chakra. So having confidence and believing in yourself, right? Like that believing in yourself card, unleash your inner unicorn. Yeah. We have retrograde. It says reflection and delays. Yeah, reflecting on life and not letting life stop you from... You know, not letting the life lessons stop you. Not letting different things that happen in life stop you from moving forward. Remember, your endurance will bring you success. Success is short with good plans and hard work. Both of these cards talk about success. You will be successful. Your endurance will bring you success. And success is short with good plans and hard work. Yeah. Don't give up, you guys. Don't give up. You're almost there. Just drink your tea every day. Say your I am affirmations. Pray and meditate. Pay attention to the moon phases. I said moon phases and cycles. Sorry, got tongue tied there. Face your shadows. Re, do a review of everything you've gone through and everything you've been through and how you're still standing. You're worrying over nothing. Something positive could be coming in March for you. There's messages coming to you. Stand in your power. We have Kiss, Goddess Freya. So you guys need to look up Goddess Freya. I think she has to do with Friday. Freya, I think Freya has to do with Friday. You guys need to look up Goddess Freya at Kiss. So you need to love on yourself. Some of you guys might be getting kissed soon. Um, I just heard this. What is it? This kiss, this kiss. Is that Shania Twain? Who is that? Or is that Faith? It's either Faith Hill or Shania Twain. Um, it's this kiss, this kiss. It's unforgettable. This kiss. It's a country western, western song. Look up that song. You guys could be meeting someone soon. Mm, I just heard Kiss of Life. Um, Sh Sade. Did I tell you guys there was a power I said Sade? Um, okay, so that's weird. Oh my God, now I'm hearing Prince. Um, uh, you guys need to watch Pretty Woman. I just heard you guys need to watch Pretty Woman. Watch Pretty Woman. Um, that's a good movie to watch during this weekend. Um, she's in the bathtub and she has on headphones and she's singing... Um, I don't want to mock it because I, I can't remember the lyrics and I'm going to sound horrible. But she's like, um, you don't have to be beautiful. <laughs> she's just acting like, like Prince and singing in the bathtub and she doesn't realize she's being watched. To turn me on. <laughs> um, um, she was mocking it. She was like, what did she say? She even, de she even, Julia Roberts even did the deep register. She's like, uh-huh, yeah, something like that. You're gonna laugh because it's funny because she's like trying to sing the song, kind of like how I am. And, um, she's being heard. So there's a playful energy here. That, that's the energy you guys need to tap into a playfulness. Look, you have gold abundance. So yeah, you guys need to work with yellows and oranges, solar plexus chakra, you have abundance coming in. Okay, what else do you have? 
You have focus, guidance, and direction. You guys are being directed. You guys are being guided the way. So just focus on what you want. Focus on your dreams. Focus on creativity and imagining things. What do you want? What do you want to create in life? Is it love? Well, first you need to love yourself. But there's a kiss coming. Mm, okay. Sky blue. Someone else had this. Express more magic, right? So that's that child energy. Hmm. Snuggle up. There's a song by Quincy Brown. It's called Snuggle Up. Listen to that song. I think of the teddy bear snuggle, the snuggle bear. And it says, natural touch. Another pal had this. So you guys are needing hugs, some love like a child, right? Some loving, some TLC, some, you know, time just to feel good. I'm hearing feel good. Once again, feel good. So, um, and I'm also hearing Golden by Harry Styles. OK, so you guys just need to do whatever makes you feel good. There's nothing set in stone here for you guys. Um, drink a lot of water, drink some tea, create, spend time watching childhood movies that made you feel good. Um, we have emotional flexibility here as well. So, yeah, like just letting your emotions shift, like letting them change, but being strong through it all. OK, it's OK to feel up. It's OK to feel down. It's OK to not know how you feel. It's all right. There's changes going on in your life. Feel those emotions. Some of you guys might cry. Some of you guys might laugh. You know, it might be a mix mixture of emotions, and that's okay. I'm here. You guys just need to make yourself feel good this weekend and continuously start that as a routine every day, okay? And then and then pick one specific day where you just really go out and, and, uh, and beyond to love on yourself. Look, we have fun, ancestry, and family. So, yeah, there's something about... You could be healing some ancestral um, patterns or you might be wanting to start your own family because we do have the child here and we have the egg here. So once again, there's fertile energy here. If you're not trying to get pregnant, be careful. If you do have a partner, you guys could be spending time um, laughing, I'm hearing, and playing, I'm hearing. This is just like a very simple energy, but there's power and legacy. There is something with your family coming up, you guys. So if you guys have been wanting a kid, I do feel like that could be something in the future for you. I don't know how soon that is, but that could be something in the future for you. If you already have a kid, this could be you like spending time with your kid, just having fun at home is what I'm hearing. We have lavender. So your angels want you to incorporate lavender into your routine. Okay. Me, myself, and I. And now I'm hearing Beyonce, me, myself, and I. So maybe it is just you. And if it is just you right now, know that love is coming in soon. But first, you got to love yourself. Okay. Um, is it? Oh, my God. Uh, what does he say? Doesn't RuPaul say, um, how is anybody going to love you if you don't love your dance? I can't remember what he says. He says something on RuPaul's Drag Race. He says it. He's saying something, honey, if you don't love yourself, how, how in the hell is someone going to love you? Something like that. But basically what it is is you got to love you before anyone else can love you, okay? Um, and just have endurance. Know that life is going to be weird. It's going to have its ups and downs like a roller coaster, but you keep going. You stay positive and you be uniquely you. Be free. Create something that's unique and different. Do something that's unique and different. Change your wardrobe. Change your hair. Yeah, get some fun, funky pajamas. Hell, get some unicorn pajamas. Oh, my God, I'm getting a vision of Janae Aiko. Okay, so Janae Aiko had a performance on one of these night shows, and she was dressed in a, I don't know if it was a unicorn or a dragon pajama outfit and she had someone on I, I think was he on the drums I can't remember she had one of her musicians dressed up like that and they were like in a bed of clouds it was very childlike and I was like I couldn't believe she had did that that she you know dressed like that and looked like that during her performance it was so cute but it was so playful you know it's very childlike so I feel that's the energy that you guys need to go and be in you know like wearing those onesies you know that remind you of a unicorn or a dragon watching movies that have to do with unicorns and dragons and maybe watching harry potter binge, binging out on harry potter binging out on um the never-ending story or some type of book reading some type of childhood book or watching some type of childhood movie or show i think earlier i said um no that was another pal i was about to say that's a raven but it's like watching shows or movies that made you feel good. I just, I'm getting you guys just need to feel good. Just feel good, okay? Just do you, boo. All right, and let go of old thoughts, any thoughts or any patterns that just aren't serving you. And step into this happiness. When you're happy and when you're free, that's when you manifest easy, okay? So I'm going to get a number for you guys. Let's see what number. Ooh, that blue. That was like between one and two. Let's get you another one. We have four. Okay? 
So you guys just need to stay positive. Keep your head up. I just heard Tupac, keep your head up. Oh, they're giving me a vision. You know how on summer days, I'm getting like a summer block party, like with kids playing and there's lemonade or you're going to a friend's house. It's very childlike energy. You guys need to, maybe you're going to have some nostalgic moments or memories. You guys need to just embrace that inner child. And if you have children, play with your kids. Do something fun with your kids that makes you feel like a kid again. If you don't have kids and you're wanting kids, that could be on its way. If you don't have a partner and you're wanting a partner, that's possibly on its way. There's some type of kiss. Like someone might kiss you randomly. It doesn't have to be romantically, but someone might kiss you. Or you're just craving a kiss. But there's something with kiss. Hmm. Maybe you might eat kiss the kisses, the candies. But there's some type of news that's all, also on its way. And your angels are wanting you to be light, lighthearted and carefree like a kid. All right. So pay attention to these moon cycles. It could be also spiritual news coming in, like some type of message coming in from your angels this is why you always have to be open and receptive ground your energy you guys might go outside and play it's just this this pal is like unlimited with energy it's what i'm hearing it's like you can do whatever you want like you could literally create or speak into existence whatever you guys want there's magic surrounding this, this the people who chose this this pal but first you have to love on yourself okay remember said lavender and this is like kind of purple with peach pink you guys need to love on yourself. I want to get a good look at this card. Look at this child card. If you have a cat, spend time with your cat. But it's like draw, be free, doodle, you know, um, play a game. Like just have fun. Like, you know, loosen up, you know, um, make yourself a lavender bath, drink some lavender tea. You know, just do it up for yourself. Just feel good. That's what I'm hearing. Just feel good, okay? So I hope you guys love this reading. If you loved it, if it felt good, um, if you want to see more, please feel free to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Feel free to com um, um Oh, why did I say that? I wanted to say come visit me or join me on Twitter, um, Tay More Love, or Instagram, Mystical Mermaid Light. So, yeah, I guess I was supposed to mention that to you. But, yeah. I love you guys, and I hope you guys have a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful weekend.